Hello, veteran 012 in here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Final Fantasy Legend of Balance. After the three scenario events, apparently we can buy a magistrate here that was not available before. So let's go ahead and uh, bid on some stuff. And this is easily the worst designed auction house that I've ever seen in my life. Basically, you just gotta throw a money amount out there, and if the money amount isn't high enough, uh, at a certain point it'll just say, oh, well, no, that's it, and you're done, and auction is over, and... See, the current bid is 1500 right? Now, the game's gonna give me a default amount, 17300 here. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose that. And then they just say that's it for today which is retarded so I, I guess once you get to a certain gold amount or gill amount then uh, that's what you gotta you gotta put down to win which is stupid At least it's easy to get the item right away here. But yeah, instead of bidding for that, I'm gonna go ahead and bid for 20,000 and see if that's high enough. And yeah, we have a winner. All right, so we get the Carbuncle Summon. I'm gonna go ahead and put in Cassia, because, uh, well, not. Yeah, I'm level up spear plus one. I'm not really sure what Carbuncle does. Maybe it puts reflect on your party. That would be nice. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this party for a while because uh, it's damn good. I mean, this party is fucking amazing for the last bit that I did. But yeah, I went over to Gurgu, Gurugu Village in the volcano and I tried fighting around there to learn uh, blue magic for Doiden. I didn't actually learn any new abilities over there. So, um, I'm not even going to bother showing it. It just be, be me running around trying to learn shit for nothing, basically. So, uh, anyways, we're going to go to the village over here. And, uh, yeah, I would like to get in a fight here, that way I can test out Carbuncle. See if it actually does indeed put Reflect on your party. Oh, Protect and Shell. Well, that is very nice. Not as good as I would like, you know, I, I think I'd rather have, uh... Reflect, but oh well. Still protect and show, not bad. Oh, you know what? I probably should have tried to learn blue magic from those little fuckers, huh? Take you out, put you in for a sec. Now these things hit hard. Why are you hitting us for so much damage? Criminy. It's ridiculous. Here we go.
Jeez. Okay, um, just run. Just fucking run. Fuck. Squishy, aren't ya? Need some more HP. Whatever, I, I guess that's good enough. Fuck. Need to level up a little bit, man. My HP totals are, uh... A little bit lackluster right now. I can't deal with these fucking spells that these enemies are using on me. Uh, no, not yet. I'm not gonna rest yet. Although, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Just in case there's like some secret boss battle coming up. Gotta be prepared. Good that we don't have to pay. Everybody's like in a state of uh, sus basically suspended animation then, huh? Try ether. Another shell ring. That's a good find. Hmm. Yeah, that can easily replace the fucking barrier ring I got on her. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I have a sniper eye on her. Steal the items from the item shop? Uh, I guess not. So what the hell was the point of coming to this fucking town? I was told to come here first. But there's nothing to do here. Mind. Okay. The enemies of the producer came to this town seeking the aid of Diabolos, who dwells in the Mielo Cavern. The producer saw this and cast Milo into the void in an attempt to dispose of his enemies. When the producer vanished, Milo was returned to the world. 
but in the state you see it in now, and not in the same time. Yeah, so why aren't you two frozen? this Chris girl want? Yeah, she's depraved. I don't know why she's depraved, but... Ah. Yeah, we don't want that pesky producer screwing things up. fight these two, huh? So we're gonna fight Heliconarsis. Or whatever his name is. Is there a reason why uh, Alessia is invisible right now? It's a little weird, man. Saint Van. Switch out my people. Thank you.
Hmm. What are you weak to? I don't know why he's casting Vanish on us. No weaknesses. Mage's Ballad grants MP regen. Oh, that's damn good too. Bye, my pretties. See you later, loser. I should bring this all up to Sunday. Milo Cavern or Milo Cavern or how you say it. Yeah, and Mars, he just hits like a truck. And in the back row. I mean, how, how the hell can you even dispute how awesome that is? One of his... wait. Yes, I, I, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to actually look for a shop that sells crimson cherries. Yeah, because I only got one. I'd like to buy a few more for that one ability he has under Draw Out, Reign of Wisdom. I guess I could start exploring it. Don't know how far I get, but I'll try. Let's 
This kind of reminds me of the sealed cave. My goodness. You think that's enough fucking damage, game? Fuck me. All I'm trying to do is learn some blue magic spells, okay? Can't even do that without getting wrecked. Give me the same encounter. Okay, fine, give me a different one then. Jeez. Good grief, man. That is a ton of damage. Blue magic right now is too dangerous. <laughs> it's fucking too dangerous. Damn, man. Don't do that. Disembowel. Speaking of which... Didn't I get like a... What, what happened to that fucking Ifrit's uh, cudgel thing that I got? Is that a weapon? Yeah. A rod dropped by Ifrit. Strengthens fire magic. Cast fear when used as an item. Ooh. Ooh, you can use items in battle. That was a weapon for a belly. I didn't even realize it. Not as good attack power, but that hardly matters seeing as it uh, strengthens fire magic. So, yeah. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and equip. Or not equip. Bring uh, you in again. Need more HP. Can't survive these spells right now, man. It's like two fucking spells and we're dead. Uh oh. Huh? Earrings. All right, another pair. I wonder, I wonder if you equip two. Maybe you can't equip two. Apparently you can't equip two. Increases the power of healing spells, or I could give her a saint band to increase her holy damage. Which would I rather have? I suppose I could give her both and just forego the status protection.
I'm starting to get some nice stuff. Yeah, ow, oh, man. It's fucking crazy. Let's see you learn Raise, that's pretty nice. Bone Mail. Armor crafted from the bones of an ancient beast. I don't know if I want to equip this though because that lowers his strength considerably. Yeah, I'll save it for another character. I wonder if it functions like the bone mail does in Final Fantasy V. You know what? Let me let me see if it does. I'm gonna have to test this here. Does not. Hmm. Not you. Holy crap, these get Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Run! Oh, I couldn't run because of the stupid menu thing. Yeah, as soon as I start switching people in and out and stuff like that, things become discombobulated really quick. Alright, you, get the fuck out of my party. The enemies are ridiculous in here. Do I have anything better for you? No? Ugh. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna end the video right here, actually. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy Legend of Balance, and in the next episode, I will continue exploring the Milo Cave. See you next time. Bye-bye.